there has been a warning by the United Nations on extreme weather conditions. Now, with El Nino likely to arrive this year, the United Nations has warned the world to prepare itself for the potentially extreme weather conditions that it might bring along with it. In a recent statement, the World Meteorological Organization has said that the El Nino weather pattern is likely to develop later this year and could contribute to rising global temperatures. After three years of La Lina weather pattern in the Pacific Ocean, which offered lower global temperatures slightly, there was a 60% chance that uh, El Nino, uh, its warmer counterpart in May or July this year will hit. That probability will increase 70 to 80% between July and September. Now, head of the WMO Climate Prediction Division, Wilfred Mofa Okea has said that there was no current estimate as to how much El Nino would push the temperatures up. The world's hottest year on record so far has been 2016, coinciding with a strong El Nino, although the climate change has fueled extreme temperatures even in the years without this phenomena. Next few months from May to July, we have a 60% chance to uh, enter into a El Nino phase. This uh, likelihood will increase to uh, 70% if we look at the period from July to August, and even to 80% if we go uh, past August. But of course, beyond, we can't say much. That's where we are. Now, so uh, of course, this will uh, change uh, the weather and climate pattern worldwide. The warmest year was the 2016, according to our uh, uh, report. So we are expecting uh, in the coming two years to have uh, a serious increase in the global temperature. The state of the ocean is uh, warming, and we are currently in the so-called neutral phase of the El Nino uh, oscillation, uh, whereby um, basically uh, we left the state of the La Nina, and we are moving toward a different state. This year could be the hottest on record, fueled by climate change and the expected return of the El Nino weather phenomenon, scientists said on Thursday. After three years of the generally cooler La Nina weather pattern in the Pacific Ocean, the world will experience a return to El Nino, its warmer counterpart, later this year, according to climate models. During El Nino, winds blowing west along the equator slow down and warm water is pushed east creating warmer ocean surface temperatures. Europe experienced its hottest summer on record in 2022, Samantha Burgess of the EU's Copernicus Climate Change Service said. So the, the anticipation is if we do transition into a El Nino, the expectation is that 2023 may, is more likely to be warmer than not than 2022. Copernicus published a report on Thursday assessing last year's climate change fueled extreme weather, including disastrous flooding in Pakistan and Antarctic sea ice hitting record low levels. Climate models suggest a return to El Nino weather conditions in the late boreal summer and the possibility of a strong El Nino developing towards the end of the year, Copernicus said. The last eight years were the hottest on record, reflecting the longer term warming driven by greenhouse gas emissions. Although most of the world's major emitters have pledged to slash their net emissions to zero, global CO2 emissions last year continued to rise.